What's up, YouTube? This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in front of you, we have a very interesting video today. This is another card show review. I'm going to show you what I picked up, explain a little bit as to why I picked it up. Uh, this is the second of which that dropped on the channel. This is, again, from a local card show around here. It's, it's, this one was held at a different uh, hotel than the last one was, and it was definitely a little better organized, I would say, and it wasn't anywhere near as hot as the last one. If uh, you guys did manage to watch that video, you know that uh, that was one of my main complaints. There were just so many people, and it was such a tight space that it was really, really warm, really uncomfortable, and... and just wasn't as pleasant as uh, as you'd hope the whole experience to be. So, without too much further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in and show you what I got. I got a lot of different things, a lot of modern things, a lot of uh, mostly modern things actually this time I would say. Whereas I think the last time it was relatively even between the the modern slash ultra modern and the uh, more vintage or or whatever you would label kind of the junk wax slash maybe just before the junk wax era. Although you're going to see some of that in here as well. So one of my main goals with this card show was to pick up some of the, some of the keys, uh, some of the key rookie cards that I needed before the season started. And a prime example of this is the Juan Soto that you see before you here. So this is the rookie debut. It's, uh, it, it's not his standard rookie, so obviously it's the debut card from the update series, as you can see there. Um, ended up getting this for, really it was in a bundle deal, so I, I can't say how much I paid for just this card. But I'll show you what I ended up getting in that bundle. I thought it was a, a good price. So I wanted to grab this card before the season started because it's, it's very widely believed that he's going to be the number one player in baseball by the end of the season. So... Uh, it's only going to go up, you know, especially if he wins a uh, rookie of the, or uh, especially if he wins, you know, an MVP or, or really any other awards. So within that deal, there were four cards, right? And you're seeing them all here, right? So it was the Soto, just regular Tops update. I ended up picking up the Tops Chrome update Otani's both the regular and the rookie debut, as you can see from the backs. And I was able to grab the Ronald Acuna Jr. Topps Chrome also update. So fantastic cards. They all look good. They all have beautiful corners. Um, just cards, again, that I didn't have that I really wanted to add, again, before the, the prices went even higher. I thought that the Otanis were extremely affordable at 25 uh, Acuna, I thought was maybe a little overpriced at 40, but like I said, I didn't end up paying those prices. So for the four of these guys, um, I ended up paying 80 bucks. So I, I look at it as, uh, you know, what, $20 a card, which I would pay $20 a card for each one of these probably any day of the week. Um, you know, may, maybe it's a little bit more than uh, I should have paid on this guy since it's not the tops Chrome, but at least it's now part of my collection. So <clears throat> now moving on to the next deal that I made. Uh, so another guy there had some, again, this is a perfect example kind of of what you're going to see in this video. So you have Harper, who obviously is, a, is, a, is modern. Then you have Brandon Belt, which goes a little further back. And then you have Randy Johnson, which goes back into the junk wax era. Uh, once again, pretty much all cards that I didn't have. I didn't have the Donruss uh, rated rookie for the big unit. I uh, didn't have any rookies of Brandon Belt, who's a guy that I've always enjoyed watching. And uh, he had Bryce Harper's uh, gold, Rookie Gold Cup for just three bucks. Uh, has one soft corner, you know, down here at the bottom. You can kind of see if I do that, but I kind of figured, you know what, uh, I'm going to be kind of update, upgrading the collection the more that I go to shows. So I figured $3 for a card I didn't have that's definitely worth more than three bucks, you know, why not? Uh, and once again, they're, they're all for my personal collection. So, I mean, in terms of, you know, making money and all that kind of stuff, that, that's not really what I set out to do. So, uh, this guy was cool. He gave me all three of these for, I mean, they're, they're labeled as, what, two, two, and three. I think he gave me all three for five because he didn't want to deal with singles or, or change, which, 
again, some, uh, I'm glad to pay that any day of the week for any of those cards, really. So <clears throat> now we get to another deal. Um, if, if you watched the last video, you remember uh, I bought from, this is the same guy that tends to put the values of the cards on the back. Uh, so I picked up a couple of rookies, uh, Jordan Alvarez, the Turkey Red, which uh, he says is worth four bucks. Uh, Evan White, just a red prism, uh, or a red uh, parallel, I should say, and says it's worth seven. And Christian Pache, again, the red parallel, worth 12. Um, so, I mean, if you add up his pricing, you know, he's, he's trying to say that the cards are worth like 23, you know, let's call it 25 bucks for ease of, uh, you know, ease of calculation. Um, I ended up getting the three cards for, I think they were five bucks or something. They were like three for five. So um, I wouldn't have paid much more for them, to be honest. Uh, I mean, Jordan is, it looks like he's going to be a really special player. Uh, White and Pache, I think, still have to prove themselves a bit more, but uh yeah, again, just some more pickups that I needed. So uh, the next two was awesome, right? So this was a, a gentleman that I uh, met for the first time at this show. I, I believe he's been set up at uh, some of the other card shows that I've went to, but I, I don't know whether or not, uh, I guess I just didn't buy anything off of him, but the, re the guy really couldn't have been nicer. So uh, what we have here is a, a actual game used jersey from Cal Ripken Jr. that he had for 10 bucks. And I love the, uh, the the vintage Soto, you know, kind of throwback uh, heritage card, I believe, right? It's either, it's either heritage or archives. So it looks like archives. Okay, fair enough. But just a gorgeous card. I, I love it. And again, it's got excellent corners on it, you know, and the Ripken's in great shape too. Um, so he had a mark for 10 and 20. I ended up paying 20 for both as he, he was basically just... Again, dealing in real simple numbers, but uh, he also informed me that he has a channel, and uh, this is his card right here. If you guys want to go ahead and uh, check out his YouTube channel down at the bottom there, Mr. 95 Cents. I've watched a few of his videos since. Uh, he used to own a, uh, a card shop locally that I've been to a number of times. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, just a, just a super nice guy. If you end up in any uh, you know North Jersey local uh, shows, I'm, I'm sure you could meet him and... Uh, and he's happy to share all kinds of stories with you. And, uh, and yeah, check out his channel. Like I said, it's, it's a good channel from uh, everything that I've watched on it so far. And it's just great to uh, see other people that, you know, like the, uh, like the hobby as much as uh, all of us do. Fellow card enthusiasts, you know. So now the next deal. So the, these little dots, you know, obviously all represented different prices. Uh, I don't remember exactly what they were off the top of my head, but I ended up getting all of these for, I want to say it was 40 or 50. I can't remember. I really can't remember off the top of my head because I was really going through and picking out a ton that I didn't have. And then I kind of went back through and was a little more selective um, just because the, the, the price was getting a little bit too much, you know, kind of for what I was, what I was grabbing, you know, because I don't think anything was a dollar. I want to say that the, you know, the colors were something like two, three, five, maybe six, something like that. So, you know, I don't think anything was a, a great deal, but it ended up being a nice package because again, he, he didn't add them all up and, and, you know, uh, uh, make me pay that. He, he added them all up and then took some, some off. So that was fantastic. But, um, so for starters, uh, Kevin Biggio got his first Bowman and his tops rookie, his rookie debut, I should say. Uh, you know, gorgeous cards, nice corners and everything. Uh, I, as you know, I love to collect first Bowmans and rookie cards and prospects and all kinds of stuff. And it was great to get those two of the same uh, uh, player to add to the collection. Casey Mize's first Bowman. He looks like uh, he's, he's going to be pretty good for the Tigers. Uh, Kyle Tucker rookie card. This is his Bowman rookie. Very nice. Uh, this gentleman here, so I, I just kind of saw this. Uh, and again, red wasn't the most expensive, so I guess it should have been a little bit clearer that this guy is not, uh, you know, definitely not the best player in the world. Uh, in fact, I didn't even know who he was, but, you know, I saw first Bowman, I saw an autograph, and I saw the Orioles. 
what more could uh, could I ask for as a collector? You know, like the, those are the <laughs> those are kind of the uh, number one, two, and three things that I I really tend to collect in my in my personal PC. Uh, you know, I'll take anything really that's that's an Oreo. Um, but this gentleman here, I believe, is now in the Milwaukee Brewers organization, and I believe he's in Double A. Um, not sure that he'll ever quite make it to the majors, but hey, I like the card and that's why I picked it up, you know. Got a beautiful Will Smith Bowman's Best Rookie. I mean, this, this card just caught my eye. And again, I think Will Smith is just a fantastic player. I don't know what these guys are going to do with the log jam that they have at catcher, but, uh, you know, one would think that uh, you're going to be able to trade for, uh, you know, a, a weaker position or, you know, maybe even some draft capital and uh, make another run, you know, because the Dodgers look like they're loaded. Uh, you got Austin Riley. Love uh, love me some Austin Riley. I think he's uh, another good young kid. This is uh, 84, uh, kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it? They did like the the throwback in the uh, Topps flagship release of that year. So really just a gorgeous card. So once again, I, I only had one of his rookies, I think, so I grabbed that. Absolutely love this Gavin Lux rookie. Uh, this one wasn't going to get away from me. I was a little bit concerned about these few dots that you see down here, but they're actually on the plastic. So I'll probably just replace the top loader and, and you know, this will just be a gorgeous card. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's really, a, it's just a gorgeous card and of a young player that I think has a, a lot of promise to him. Kyle Tucker, gorgeous Bowman Chrome Rookie of the Year favorites. As I said before, you know, looks like he's going to be a, a solid player. Same with Jordi, Jordan Alvarez. That's just a really cool Topps Chrome. Decades next. So, again, we'll uh, we'll see. I have a number of his rookie cards now. but uh, And same with the next guy here, Bo Bichette. So, just love the, you know, the, the parallel to this Bowman Chrome. It's, it's insane. Um, and the uh, Decades next. And then, interestingly enough, I did not have his uh, his regular old Topps rookie card. I, I went through my box before uh, going to the show, and you know saw that I had everything from his debut to his chromes to his you know all kinds of other uh, uh, you know kind of off the wall type brands that Topps and, and Panini kind of do. But I didn't have the the uh, the Topps flagship, so now I can cross that one off the list. And this one was just pretty cool. Again, caught my eye, you know, numbered. It's, you know, nothing special at 98 out of 99. Um, but Taylor Trammell, you know, just a nice big white patch. Uh, we'll see whether or not, uh, you know, he pans out in the majors. Um, again, if not, it was really only a couple of bucks. And uh, I'll use the top loader for something better, which is what I tend to do sometimes. So uh, on to the next deal, uh, which was another... Another guy that I, uh, you know, bought a number of things off of. So there's going to be more from him a little bit later on in the uh, in what we got here, but uh, they have they're they're split up a little bit. Um, Jordan Alvarez rookie debut I didn't have, so yet again another one. Bo Bichette yet another rookie of him. Ryan Mountcastle. I mean, come on, this this kid I think is uh, really has a bright future with the Orioles. You know, if he can get together with uh, Cedric Mullins, you know, our 30-30 guy, and, uh, you know, Hadley Rushman coming up, and, you know, hopefully the young pitching staff can kind of turn into something, then uh, I, th I think we're really going to have something, but, uh, you know, this is his first Bowman, didn't have it, so now we do, fantastic, you know. Um, moving on to, like I said, some of the junk wax slash a little bit earlier, I uh, gotta love the uh, yellow top loader, right, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it tells you it's either been in this top loader for quite some time or, or you know, the, the gentleman just had this top loader for quite a while. But uh, the crime dog, Fred McGriff, you know, beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful card, you know, probably his most iconic uh, baseball card. And, uh, you know, he shares this uh, this gorgeous set with uh, the Jose Canseco rookie that uh, everybody was after at the time. And uh, speaking of the log jam that uh, the Dodgers have, this is Kiebert Ruiz. You know, it's going to be going into his second year, and uh, he, it sounds like he could be the best catcher on the roster, you know, depending on who you talk to. So 
who knows, maybe it'll be Will Smith, uh, you know, that they jettison off. But uh, again, this was just a gorgeous card. I don't tend to go with Panini as much because I, I like the, you know, actually having the uh, MLB license, but they do make some nice stuff. A um, couple of the uh, Panini, Panini Phoenix, right? Chronicles Phoenix. So uh, Monty Harrison and Alex Kirilov. I think that uh, both of them have have bright futures. Uh, you know, Kirilov probably a bit more, but um, you know, again, in terms of in terms of age and stuff like that, you know, they're, they're pretty close. So it's it's difficult to see. You know, maybe Monty Harrison, uh, you know, becomes a big deal. Uh, you know, with the young model and steam down there, or or you know, even gets traded somewhere else. Um, then, yep, just grabbed another uh, rookie card here that had AJ Puck and Jesus Lozardo on it. I figured uh, just a great, great pickup. Uh, both guys are, you know, looking like they're coming into their own. You know, I don't know if they're necessarily studs just yet, but figured, you know, might as well throw it. And, you know, I think it was only like a dollar or something like that. So in the grand scheme of things, it didn't cost all that much. Uh, Keston Hira, rookie debut. I mean, I know that uh, he had a bit of a rough year last year, but I think he'll he'll turn it around, and he looks like he's you know one of the brighter stars for the Brewers. And we got Lourdes Goriel Jr., you know, part of that tremendous Blue Jays club. So uh, just grabbed his rookie again. I think it was like a dollar. And yet another Jordan Alvarez. This time, just the the holiday edition. You know, special holiday at Walmart or whatever uh, edition. <laughs> but uh, I, I tend to like them. Uh, and pretty and all this stuff, uh, I'm relatively sure, came off the exact same guy, actually. So it actually is in order. I, I bought a large number of stuff off the, uh, you know, one guy at the end. And uh, this was all part of that. And he only ended up wanting like 50 bucks. So, I mean, I ended up getting, you know, if we go all the way back to... Uh, McGriff was part of it, Mount Castle. You know, going all the way back to to the Jordan, you have all these guys, plus everything else that's coming up. Uh, I made in one deal, and again, I think it was I think the only one it was fifty bucks, so I thought it was a good deal. John Means didn't have his uh, rookie cup, so had a uh, you know glossy parallel or whatever you want to call it. Thought that was awesome. Barry Zito rookie card. Just another one of the older ones that I'm kind of knocking off the list. And it doesn't look like, you know, he's ever going to make it into the the Hall of Fame as the, the statistics just don't uh, support it in terms of, uh, you know, his war or, any, or even his wins. You know, he, he only had 165 wins uh, during his career. So it doesn't look like it. But uh, I remember him being part of that ridiculously strong pitching lineup that the uh, A's had for a few years before they were broken up. Manny Ramirez, this is, uh, you know, another one of his rookie cards. Um, slowly knocking those off. Um, this guy here, I saw for several price points at the, uh, at the show, uh, the same show, obviously. And uh, this, this guy had it again for like a dollar, two dollars, whatever it was. So I'm like, you know, it's a nice shape. You know, especially for a card that usually has some chipping and soft corners. It's just such a hard set to get in a nice condition. And this, this is in a, a great condition, I thought. So, uh, you know, other people there had it for five. One guy had it for ten and not graded, you know, just raw, just like that. So I was like, if I can get the same card for a dollar or two, why not? Uh, this is a cool card here. You got Johnny Damon and Jeff Abbott, rookie. Uh, Johnny Damon maybe has a chance of, uh, you know, getting himself into the Hall of Fame. I know his his war is a little bit low at, what, right around 56, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, but we've definitely seen lower uh, get in. The only thing that probably works against him is he doesn't have, the, again, kind of like Zito, he doesn't really have the stats that jump off the page, but he does. he, he is in the, uh, the right area for war. So we'll see what happens. And then this card here's got Aaron Boone's uh, rookie on it, so I figured might as well pick that up. Not a guy that I've ever been like a super fan of, but uh, I, I watched him play several times growing up, and now he's the New York Yankees skipper. So 
Again, I figured why not? It was only like a dollar. So Adley Rushman, I grab his cards anytime I find them. This is a uh, Topps minor league card. But uh, depending on what statistic or uh, what uh, you know, basically uh, rankings you look at, he's either the number one or the number two. Uh, prospect in all of baseball heading into this season so hopefully he can uh, get healthy and make his debut a bit later on and you know hopefully he lives up to the hype I for one certainly hope so as a as an Oriole fan so here you go one of the uh, probably one of the kings of the junk wax era uh, Frank Thomas rookie card obviously not the no name on front um, I didn't have this so I figured hey might as well grab it a little bit off center Obviously, left to right, up and down's not not terrible. Left to right's definitely noticeable there. Um, but on the front, I thought it looked, you know, quite beautiful. Again, you know, maybe up and down here is is a little bit off, but kind of hard to argue when I was getting everything for you know for fifty bucks from this guy. And these are kind of the the other two crown jewels that I found from from you know the same gentleman. Uh, a couple Daryl Strawberry rookie cards that I didn't have. Uh, I didn't end up paying five because again, this whole stack plus these two ended up being uh, fifty bucks. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this card out of this uh, screw down case. But uh, you know, I looked at it and it, it looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Maybe a little bit of a soft corner there. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of uh, uh, you know some whitening down there. But uh, other than that, it appears to be a gorgeous copy. And, you know, same with the, the Fleer. You know, there's, there's, looks good. You know, I believe that's on the case itself, but I'll end up pulling that one out of here too, probably, and just tossing it in a top loader. Um, but yeah, I read uh, Doc's, uh, Doc Gooden's uh, book. His, uh, I guess, autobiography. I'm pretty sure he, he wrote it, or you know, at least had the help of a ghostwriter, possibly. Um, really, a good book if you get a chance to read it. Um, it's on Kindle Unlimited if anybody has that. So I mean, you can pretty much read it for free. And uh, I mean, obviously, their stories were so intertwined that uh, it's incredible. You know, the the troubles that uh, the the two of them had. But um, that kind of gave me a renewed interest in both players. Uh, I haven't been able to locate any of Doc's rookies as of yet, but uh, this was awesome to find, you know, two of Daryl's. Uh, obviously, this is not the Topps traded. This is, uh, what, 84, and I believe his, technically his first rookie is, what, an 83 traded. But um, that's all right. I love this card. I feel like it's, uh, at least in my opinion, it's more of the iconic uh, rookie that he has so so that was it you know uh, it was a great show like I said met some awesome people uh, and and you know ended up spending I think right around 200 bucks again just like last time so you know probably uh, you know definitely had a little bit more um, the last time you know had some packs to open and, and you know just ended up with more overall cards but you know this time like I said I, I went with a plan I knew I knew what I wanted, uh, you know, especially with the Sotos and Otanis and, uh, you know, Acuna there before the season started, as I'm sure the prices are only going to go up as the uh, season goes on and those guys get better. So uh, with that said, man, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all you guys, uh, you know, checking out the channel, checking out my content. Uh, if you can, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.